What's going on YouTube? Today, we are not fishing. In fact, it's like negative 17 degrees outside. So you know what? I decided I'm gonna put a video out today. Uh, let's not freeze our butt off and go outside. Let's take a look inside the December Lucky Tackle Box. This is a box filled with tackle that gets sent to you every single month. So we're just gonna get right into it. We're gonna see what they sent in December. Enjoy the video. So the first thing that comes in the box is this little card here. This card basically tells you everything that is in the box. Gives you a little description, gives you some pricing, um, as well as some other valuable information. So that is what, what came in here. This dude is filled with lots of bass fishing lures. No more baits, we don't need that. So it looks like we've got about seven different uh, lures or you know pieces of tackle that got sent in this month's box. So I'm just gonna basically go through them one by one and explain to you kind of what they are, maybe where I'd throw them, why it fits into the December box. So we're just gonna start with, with this dude here. This is a, this is the sparkliest one in the box, usually gets my attention. Right here we have a uh, Janko Fishing. See, I've never even heard of these guys. Janko Fishing. This is a, it looks like a little deep diver crankbait. I'll take this guy out of the pack. It looks a little something like that right there. I believe it goes down to 20 feet, given the name CD20. Um, so yeah, that's that's essentially what it looks like. That's like a citrus shad color. You know, December, I'm not really sure where on planet Earth you could throw this particular bait um, and catch fish. Uh, I don't know, maybe down south, that's like a thing to deep crank in the winter. For me, that is a summertime bait. Uh, which is fine because then when I get these baits that aren't, you know, you can't apply them right now, you just put them in your tackle box and then when summer rolls around, I've got an entire box filled with deep diving crank baits, baits that you that you can't throw in the winter that you can throw in the summer or in the spring, stuff like that. So that is, that is bait number one is a uh, little deep diving crank with some rattles. Next up, we've got another hard bait. We've got a Monster Bass Slim Jim 110 jerk bait. Right there is the second bait. That is a jerk bait. Kind of painted in like a, a shad, sexy shad color. They do have the red front hook. I've seen that on a few different jerk baits. It's just kind of more of a confidence thing than anything. It's just, you know, fish see the red, they think it's bleeding, they think it's injured bait fish. You might just get a few more strikes that way. Got some pretty legit rattles and some extremely sharp hooks as I'm hooking myself. Jerk bait is something that I can, I personally can't go throw right now because there's like that much ice on the lakes. But if you're if you're in a place where the water is still open, even if it's like 40 degrees or you know whatever, really really cold, jerk baits like this, like a little suspending jerk bait, will still catch fish. This is my one of my favorite fall and springtime lures, like early spring and late fall when the water's just super cold. Um, the reason being is because you fish this thing, you jerk it down a few times, and it'll just sit there, and it almost taunts the bait, it almost taunts the fish. Uh, because it's just an easy meal and easy presentation that just chills there and uh, is ready to get eaten. So that that's basically that bait there. That right there is like a bait you could actually throw like right now if you have open water. So that's nice. So you got a deep dive and crank bait you can kind of save for like the warmer months. You got a you know a jerk bait that you can throw right now. The next bait we have here is a Spool Tex Lures Pro Series Four Inch Fatty. That was a mouthful. It looks like it's a a little swim bait majigger type deal here. I'll see if I can get it out of the package without breaking anything. It looks a little something like this. As you notice, right where my fingers, it, there's like a gear, like a like a spinning gear that you'd see on like a freaking car. Where's the directions on this? It says Spool Tech Lures features a concealed leader that deploys after hookup. So yeah, I don't know. It's just got. It says that it has a steel leader that deploys, um, but basically it's just your little your little paddle tail swim bait. It comes with an extra an extra tail in case a little smaller fish likes to just take a bite out of it. But it's, you know, it's a pretty realistic looking just minnow. It's really basic. Um, I kind of like that. So I feel like some people get a little carried away with colors. I, I like to stick to the basics. That just looks like, uh, you know, your standard little minnow that'd be swimming around, swimming around in your uh, in your lakes and ponds, stuff like that. But that's that's cool. That's, again, not a bait that I've never even heard of. Um, this is another reason why I like getting these boxes every month because I've been fishing all of my life. You guys have seen a lot of my tackle. I have a stupid amount of tackle. And I still get new baits every single month that I've never even heard of. So that right there is bait number three. That is something that you could pretty much throw right now. You know, especially here in California. California dudes are killing it on swim baits right now. So that right there is something that you could pick up right now and throw. And speaking of swim baits, we've got some more swim baits here. These are some VNM swim baits. Uh, looks like designed by Bassmaster Classic Champion Cliff Pace. So we've got some little little white. These are just like soft. They're not even hollow belly. They're solid. They're definitely solid. But they're kind of like a thin, a thin profile swim bait. This is not, again, something I've never really seen. Normally swim baits like this are kind of like round, um, you know, the hollow bellies and stuff like that. This dude is actually just like 
it's thin. It's almost like a like a fluke, like a soft jerk bait. It's a, actually a pretty interesting design. I don't know if it would have way more side to side movement. To be honest, I'm not exactly sure. This is a V&M Hightail Shad in white ice color. So this is again something if you're fishing in California, not necessarily California, but anywhere where really you know swim baits really work. Um, maybe if you have you know shad in your lakes that the bass are still feeding on stuff like that, you could you could whip this little dude out and uh, and you could definitely go to town with something like that. So we've got two more baits, so bear with me if you guys are just trying to get through this video. I know unboxings are kind of painful to be honest. I know, I know. You guys would much rather see me, you know, go out and catch some flare fish, but today it's just not, it's just not possible right now. I am planning on going ice fishing sometime soon though. So if you guys want to see ice fishing, let me know down in the comment section below and uh, I'll make sure to do that. Next we have some riot baits. Whoa, these are, I don't, what are these things called? These are these are this is weird. This is like a this is like a, a soft plastic jig, if that makes any sense. Like a like a jig and pig, like a skirted jig, but it's soft plastic. You guys can see it's like it's got like little like you know hula skirt looking thing. Um, but it, it is something that you could put like a Texas like you would literally just Texas rig this, and you got the trailer and you got this the uh, little appendages that move a whole lot. So you wouldn't need like an actual jig. You would just need a weight and a hook. It's just like a soft plastic soft plastic Texas rig. Um, where would this be like better versus a normal jig is anytime you're like maybe around grass. If you guys have ever picked up like a flipping jig and flipped it into like a, a matted, you know, mat of grass or vegetation, like you guys know it's a pain because it just gets all over. But if you were to Texas rig this thing, you'd get a very similar presentation, um, kind of like the bigger bulkier presentation, but you'd be able to bring it through the vegetation. So that's pretty much the only thing I could really think of off the top of my head as to why someone would want this over a normal jig, and that is anytime you're fishing in vegetation or like mucky slop stuff that just gets covered on your jig, you just rig this up Texas rig, and uh, it would probably come out a lot more weedless. I don't know, I've never thrown it, but that is just my suggestion for you guys if you did get this box. So the next bait is a KVD Perfect Plastic. I think this is called the Ocho. It's not labeled on here, I just kinda know off the top of my head, it's called the Ocho. If I remember right, if I remember correctly, the Spotted Bass World Record was just caught like last week, and it was caught on a bait like this. I think it might have been this exact bait. I'm not exactly sure. I don't. I don't really follow that stuff too uh, too closely. But essentially, it is just a soft plastic stick bait. It's got a little bit different, you know, dents and material than like your standard like Senko, and it's a little bit smaller. This is like this is my ideal size for like a whack, a finesse wacky rig. If you're smallmouth fishing and you're wacky rig fishing, like that right there is the exact size. It's just, it's it's like flat on a bunch of different sides. So it's got a little bit different action in the water. It's it's a little bit different than just your standard Senko or your standard stick bait. But it came in green pumpkin. So you know I'll be catching fish on this dude for sure. Anytime you pick up a, a green pumpkin stick bait, I can go anywhere in the country and I'll promise you I can catch fish on something like this. Plus it smells amazing. This smells like coffee. This is like my favorite smelling soft plastic ever. It just smells really good. It smells like coffee, I don't know, if, if the bass like coffee, I like coffee. The bass might like coffee. I'm not really sure. I just know it smells good. It looks good. It looks like a bait that would definitely catch some fish. So we're almost done here. We've only got one more thing. And this actually goes perfect with the uh, little stick bait. And these are uh, must-add weedless hooks. That's pretty much all this says. But this is like, when I was talking about wacky rig fishing, you could use this. So I'm not exactly sure how well you guys to see it. It is a little hook, little weedless hook. I'll just rig it up very quickly on this uh, little soft plastic here so you can see. That's essentially what a, uh, a wacky rig would look like there, and it is weedless, so that's kind of nice that they send some hooks to go with some of the baits instead of just getting a bunch of plastics and no hooks, because some guys, you know, you don't have all the hooks in the world to match all these baits, but at least you got one now. You've got one if you want to throw the wacky rig. I promise, if you rig this little dude up just like this, summertime, springtime, and you fish this thing around ponds or even lakes, I promise you, you will catch fish. If you guys want your own Lucky Tackle Box, uh, check the links down below. If you want to know the prices for all these baits, check down below. I'll have everything listed, so if you guys have any questions, just make sure you check the description. Otherwise, if I didn't answer your question, type it on the little keyboard, hit enter on the comment section, and I will do my very, very best to get back to you. I'm sorry that I had to do another unboxing. I know some of you guys, some of you guys like these. Some of you guys enjoy these. Uh, personally, they're okay. Um, not that I don't enjoy getting baits. I love getting baits. But I would much rather be outside fishing and not sitting in, you know, uh, my office and filming a video. But, you know, you got to do what you got to do when you live in Nebraska. Hopefully, I'll be back in Texas. Actually, I will be back in Texas. I leave on Monday. So, very soon, very soon, I will be back fishing warm water um, in warm weather and catching, hopefully, fish. So, if you guys enjoyed the unboxing, leave a thumbs up. If you have any suggestions, 
for videos. I've already mentioned it before, uh, but I'm, I plan on going like airsofting, paintballing, bass fishing, deer hunting, duck hunting, all that fun stuff. So if there's anything I'm missing, anything you're like, dude, Flair, you would have a blast doing this, let me know down in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching and peace. Actually, change of plans, I was going to end the video there. I'm feeling generous, you know, it's the Christmas holiday season. Instead of just doing an unboxing, keeping the baits for myself, I'm deciding I'm gonna give away this box that I just got. I know it's not huge, I know I've done like $3,500 fishing gear giveaways before, so a box like this is not a ton, uh, but it's just one more thing that I can say thank you guys for, uh, for supporting me throughout the entire year. So all you have to do to enter to win the box that you just saw in box, just leave a comment down below. Um, like I said, it would, be, it would be preferred if you gave me like a video suggestion or maybe comment your favorite video of 2016, um, something like that, but I mean, in reality, just leave a comment. Um, smash that like button and make sure you're subscribed for more content because 2017 is about to be lit. So, if you want to win, like I said, just leave a comment down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, second time. Peace.